Welcome to Saturday Morning Coaching. I'm Coach Davis. Your mind is truly yours. It's an amazing gift. It directs your life and gives you your results. If you don't like what is going on in your life, the decisions you are making, it is time to check your thinking. Last week, we started an exploration of critical thinking. It is so foundational to our success. Coaches spending several sessions on it. Today, we focus on a critical thinking audit, a simple guide for your thinking. Saturday morning coaching begins now. Thank you so much for joining in. It is your continued downloads that keep me doing these. Coach's motivation is simple. I want you to be successful, however you define success. I try to live by this simple model from my coaching workshop, sharing what we know to help others grow. What an encouraging world this would be if everyone entered each day with this attitude. We would all be learning and improving together. No hidden agendas just genuine interest in helping another person. Let's start off with some definitions. The word thinking, that means using one's mind to produce thoughts. Okay, I'm using my mind. Critical is the idea of reflecting careful analysis and judgment. Critical thinking, therefore, is about rational, intelligent reasoning. Simply defined, it is the art of analyzing and evaluating thinking with a view to improve it. It is self-directed, self-disciplined, self-monitored, and self-correcting thinking. Critical thinking is not emotional thinking. If you did not hear last week's Star Power Coaching Session, I suggest you go back and listen to it because we talk about Edward Bernays, uh, the father of modern propaganda, and his whole drive was to steer you away from critical, rational thought. He, he tried to get you into an emotional state, and that's what he specialized in. Critical thinking is not about judging. It's not about fault-finding. It's not about criticizing. But it is not irrational and unreasoning. So remember, critical thinking is the art of analyzing and evaluating thinking with a view to improve it. The problem is people think. And thinking can be biased, distorted, partial, uninformed, and prejudiced. As a matter of fact, I had a family member spend some time in Al-Anon. That's the adult children of alcoholics. And they would talk about stinking thinking. Stinking thinking, those thoughts that just disempower us and keep us wrapped around the axle and always stewing and brewing. It's a great form of emotional thinking. You know, and and critical thinking is not something we come by naturally, and it's not something that seems to be taught in schools anymore. A uh, a sociologist named Aram from uh, New York University did some research on this. Over four years, he followed 2,300 traditional age students. He did it with uh, 24 U.S. colleges and universities and looked at selective to less selective universities. After four years, 36% showed no significant gains in critical thinking skills. No significant gains. Students devoted less than a fifth of their time each week on academic pursuits. 51% of their time was socializing and extracurricular activities. So just because a person shows up with a college degree, it does not mean that they are a good thinker. All it means is they got a degree. Learning to become a good critical thinker is something we have to choose to do. We have to want to improve our thinking. Thinking the way everyone else thinks is not critical thinking. That's called groupthink. Remember last week I said sloppy thinking delivers sloppy business results. I believe that for us to be successful, we have to deliver good results in our lives. And I believe that starts with good quality thinking. So what I'd like you to do is decide, do you want to be a good thinker? Because if you become a good thinker, you will end up being set apart from the rest of the group. If you become a good thinker, you won't be running down the streets with the mobs, just 
chanting things without understanding the situation behind it and just reciting what you're told to say. If you're a good critical thinker, you will take accountability for the quality of the decisions you're making in your life. Coach is now going to review with you the critical thinking audit sheet. We put this together based on the work that you can find at criticalthinking.org, which is an invaluable resource for you, criticalthinking.org. So this audit begins with, it's just uh, seven, eight questions, right? Very simple way to help guide your thinking. Do you hear me? Guide your thinking. This is what critical thinking is about. Let's say you've got your uh, phone or tablet out and you're flipping through some headlines. All right, this is a good way to use these questions. So question number one, what is the purpose of the article? Why was it written? What is it trying to do? As a matter of fact, it begins with the headline, right? We know that everybody's looking for you to click on it. So do you think the headline's written to hit your rational mind or your emotional mind? Well, as Bernays uh, believed, hitting people's emotional mind gets them to click. So right off the bat, you're put into a state of emotional thinking. So the first question to ask yourself once you get into the article, what is the purpose of the article? What Number two, what question does the article answer? Or what problem is it solving? Somebody wrote that article. It just didn't magically appear. What are the author's assumptions? From what point of view is it written? What data, information, and evidence is it based on? What are the concepts and theories that shape the article? What are the conclusions? What are the results and implications? Now, I know you're not going to sit there with this little sheet each time you read something, but we have done this numerous times just picking articles that are um, relevant to the group we're working with, and it is always fascinating to dissect what was going on and why the article was written. So let's just, if you can only remember one thing today, as you get ready to go on with your life, what is the purpose being pursued? The person that's standing up in front of the room talking, what is their purpose? Another way to say it, what's their agenda? What are they trying to accomplish by opening their mouths? What are they trying to accomplish by what they're writing? They're trying to get people to make a decision, right? And you've got to understand what they are trying to get you to do. So if that's all you can remember today, let's start with that. What is the purpose of the article or the person talking? Great. Coach, thanks you so much for spending time with me today. Hey, to all you people in Connecticut, thank you for your continued support. I miss the days when we were all together on Saturday morning with Ray Dunaway, but I'm so glad we can continue being together like this. Coach wants you to be successful. Be a good critical thinker. These are our days. I'm Coach Davis.